Hey everyone, so in this video, what we're going to go over is how you can use the import feature in Apollo to start utilizing Apollo as your source of truth across all of your uh, companies, your customers, wherever you get email data from, you could bring it back into Apollo and you can leverage Apollo's database, their UI, their filters, everything to be able to do so. And so I'm going to show you how to do that very quickly. And so all it takes at first is first, we're going to see, see how we have this person. I used to work with this person and I have never accessed their email on Apollo, but I know what their email is. And so I'm just showing you that I have never accessed this person's email address before. And so if we go to our search and then we go to people, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to import, I'm going to bulk import from CSV because this is the way you could do it up to a hundred thousand records at a time. And I'm going to show you that all you need is just the email address. So see, this is the email. Uh, sorry, Katie, for putting your email out there like that, but all you need is the email address and it will unlock the entire credit for you. So then we can just click on import here. And now it's going to unlock Katie's email for us. And we didn't pay a credit for it. Uh, you can see my credit usage, we're already maxed out. I'm on an Apollo license and we're uh, an enterprise license that so we're already basically maxed out. Um, and so we didn't use a credit to accomplish this. And um, it's also syncing with my HubSpot, which is another big thing. And so if we were to go to, you know, 10X Incubator and look at employees, Oh, actually, this was under Project 10K. I don't know why 10X Incubator is coming up here. Um, but anyway, we now have the email address of the person uploaded to our Apollo account, and it didn't use any of our credits. Uh, so, yep, we love using this function when we're using different data sources like Lead IQ, Seamless, um, maybe IC Leads, Lead Hype. We validate the emails first, and then we put them in here because they will just put in the email address that you said was the real email address, um, not they won't validate, they won't just give you any email address and things like that. So definitely pre-validate the email addresses before you put them into Apollo. But now I have this contact as a part of my UI and everything, and now I can filter it in Apollo and it, it just makes a lot of sense to have it in here.